Today I'm going to show you the three secrets you need to make lamb shoulder chops come out moist, tender, and delicious every time. Okay, let's jump right in. These are lamb shoulder chops. Don't confuse these with rib chops like you find in a rack of lamb, or with those tender loin chops that are like tiny lamb T-bones. These are $5 a pound chops that very few people know how to cook. As you can see, they have a lot of marbling, which means they're going to be tasty. But you can also see that there's a ton of connective tissue. That means if we don't treat these right, they're going to be tough. Here's the first secret. A good marinade that will get some additional flavor into the meat to give some nuance to the rendered marbling. This is a cool marinating container. You'll see why in a few minutes. I'm putting in about four tablespoons of good quality olive oil, three tablespoons of ground black pepper, three tablespoons of kosher salt, about a half dozen garlic cloves cracked and roughly chopped, the leaves from four sprigs of rosemary, lightly chopped, chopped leaves from five mint stems, and the leaves from a small bunch of rosemary. Now I'll set my marinade aside and trim my lamb chops. I'm not too worried about extra fat, there's not much on these, and the way I'm going to cook them, what's left will render. I really want to make sure that I'm taking off any loose or sharp bone fragments. We don't want our guests to bite into one of those and ruin their meal. Now I'll give the marinade a quick mix, and then toss the chops so they're well covered. A little splash of olive oil on top, and we're ready to marinate. Okay, new toy alert. This is the cool thing about the marinating container. It actually came with this food saver machine I just bought. Instead of having to marinate these chops overnight, this setup uses a vacuum to open the pores of the chops so the marinade gets sucked into the meat and it's done in 10 minutes flat. Is it cheating if it's science? I don't care. I get to eat these tonight instead of tomorrow. Check it out. When the marinade cycle is done, I open the seal, and you can actually see that it worked. You can see how bright these chops are now with the oil, salt, and essence of those herbs infused from the vacuum. I'll lay them out on a fresh baking rack Let's get them outside where we can get some smoke on them. I'll meet you at the grill. Here's the second secret. Cooking these low and slow like we would a whole lamb shoulder won't be enough to get them tender. They're too thin. So we'll use a two-stage cooking process. This first step is a hot and fast smoke. This is Yoda, our Yoda YS 1500 pellet grill. He's running at 325 degrees Fahrenheit, burning hickory pellets that will add a little flavor to the lamb that will really go well with this recipe. I'll put our lamb chops on the top rack and let them take on a little smoke. After 30 minutes, I'll turn them over to make sure they're smoking evenly. Now that they're getting good smoke flavor, it's time for the third secret. To get the maximum tenderness, we're going to braise these when they're done smoking. Let's head back to the kitchen and get our braise put together. I'm going to dice up a large onion, crush a half dozen garlic cloves. Yes, garlic in the marinade, and more garlic in the braising liquid. Surely you're not afraid of a little garlic, right? I'll fire up my handy butane stove, throw on a Dutch oven, and put in a little more olive oil to cover the bottom. I'll cook down the onions for about five minutes, Then add a stick of unsalted butter. Two 
two cups of beef stock, about a cup of red wine, okay, maybe two cups of wine, and bring it to a boil before adding a few sprigs of fresh rosemary. I'll let it simmer and reduce until the lamb chops are ready. The chops have been taking on hickory smoke for about an hour. I'll move them into the Dutch oven to braise. They'll cook down and eventually be immersed in the braising liquid inside. Then I'll put the Dutch oven in the smoker. Okay, maybe I won't put the Dutch oven in the smoker. First, I'll go get some heat gloves so I can take that shelf out so the Dutch oven will fit. Now, I'll put the Dutch oven in the smoker. We'll let them braise for two hours and come back and check on them. Let's take a peek and see how our lamb shoulder chops are doing. They're super tender. Almost falling apart as I pick them up. I think they're ready. Let's get them inside to rest and taste. Hey, Leah. Yeah. Look what I did. What'd you do? I made dinner. What's dinner, though? I made lamb shoulder chops. Wait. You've never had those before, no. have you? Now you've had lamb shoulder, right? Yeah. And you remember with the lamb shoulder, we had to cook it for a really long time and then pull it so that we could make uh, like pulled lamb sandwiches. Yeah. And it was so good that I used a bad word on camera. If you guys didn't see that, I'll put a link you, to the video. You tried right to use a bad word yeah, on I camera. Yeah, I saw myself, right? <laughs> okay, so this time I'm gonna try not to use a bad word. But instead of doing that super long cook as a whole shoulder, these are chopped. So the shoulder's all cut up into slices, but it's still really tough meat. So I smoked it and then I braised it. So I put it in like onions and white wine and beef broth and all this good stuff to see if I could get it soft and tender. You want to find out whether I did this? I haven't tasted it yet. I'm really excited to try this stuff. Yeah? I've never had this. All right, take a fork. I'll take a fork. Oh, I didn't get a fork. You guys just use your fingers. Just grab that maybe, one. Maybe they have a fork. Yeah, all right, grab a fork. Here, we'll wait for you. You know what, Never mind. we're not waiting. <laughs> Cheers. Cheers. Here goes. <laughs> it's really tender. Mm. It's like falling off the bone. I think the braise worked, mm -hmm. right? Look at that. What do you think about the flavor? It's really good. Yeah, I smoked it over hickory mm. on Yoda. Wow. Yoda was very excited to have some lamb. Uh, he's never had lamb before, right? Yeah. So. What do you think this tastes like? What would you tell uh, tell our fans that it tastes like? Does it taste like the pulled lamb that we made? It tastes like delicious. Oh, okay. Well, there you go. It tastes like delicious. I think this is a good way to go. I'm glad that I checked out this recipe and gave it a shot. I think you guys should try it the same way. Whatever kind of smoker you've got, get some smoke on it like we did, and then a braise. Follow all the instructions that are in the directions if you didn't get them all down while we were watching, and then uh, let us know how it went. Make sure you come back and comment on the video. Let us know how it went or on our Facebook page. 
you need uh, you need me to get out of your way so you can get more. Yeah. I think we know how Leah feels about the lamb shoulder chops. So if you like this video, if you're not a subscriber, this would be a great time to click that subscribe button. And then check out this video right here that I think you're gonna like a lot. And we'll see you next week on Eat, Eat More, More Vegans. Vegans.